Hello, I'm Frank Hutchison. I'm the webmaster for the Inland Northwest Wood Turners, and I'm here to explain how to edit uh, the different web pages. Uh, this is primarily only for the board members because they're the only ones who will have administrative privileges, which is required in order to perform these actions. I'm going to assume that you've already logged in, and in doing so, you now have uh, the screen which is, you see before you. And if you come over here to pages, you'll see all pages and new or add new show up. Now I'm going to assume that you're not going to add a new page, but you're just going to edit an existing page. So we come over here to all pages, click on all pages, and we have a list of all the pages. You have the contact us, the home, which is the front page, become a member, which is under home on the menu. You have login, member resources, member directory, my account, view, profile, links, newsletters, about us, and those are the pages that we have on the website at present. Let's go to the home page and just put your mouse on home and you'll see that a new menu pops up. Edit, quick edit, trash, and view. Please don't click on trash because it will do exactly what it says. Click on edit, and what you'll have is the edit screen for the home page. Now, the way that the uh, website is constructed, we have a visual editor that we use, and it's done in blocks. And what you'll see here is you have a visual editor here at the top, it'll be the upper left hand corner of the page and then a longer one, which is the center and right-hand side of the page. Below that, there are two more, which are about the same size as the ones above. You have a little one. This one right here is going to be the sidebar, which is where you have um, login as a member or member login, um, become a member, or subscribe for the newsletter. That's all right there. Probably you don't ever have to touch that, so don't worry about it. The one that you're most likely going to have to touch is this middle one right here, Visual Editor, because it's the one that has the announcements on the home page. Now down here in the last three, that's sort of down at the bottom. It's not the footer, but the one right above it, which is where we say who our sponsors are. And right now we have the Inland Northwest Wood Turners are sponsored by, then we have Windsor, and we have Woodcraft. And it's just their logos, which is why they don't show up here but I'll show you what those are in just a little bit. Let's now say that we're going to change the announcements. So we go over here to edit. The visual editor of the box that we want, and we go to edit. And it comes up, and there we see there's announcements, there's turning of the month, and then you can see what the turning of the month is. It's just a photograph. So, for the announcements, we have here all the announcements, and this is a what you see is what you get word processor, which means that what you see here on the screen is what you'll see on the web page. So we can go in here and let's say that we're going to add um, a September meeting. September meeting dash um, the first meeting of the fall uh, let's go back here. Fall um, will be interesting since I don't know what it's going to be yet. And then I can go back over here and say, oh, I want to capitalize the. Let's do that. And I want to bold September meeting. So I just go up here and click bold. If I wanted to be italics, I'd click on the italics. So you can do that or you unclick it. Um, you can strike through if you want, which you probably won't want to do. The this is a bulleted list, which you probably won't have on the on this one right here. This is a numbered list. There's a block quote. This is a horizontal line, and then you have your alignment. You can put in a link, or you can remove a link, and you see insert read more tag, uh, which give you a link. Go to full screen. Most of these you don't need to worry about because you won't use them. So there you are. That's what you have. 
And that's all that's required to edit anything in the announcements. Now, when you're done with this, you must do the following. You must go down here to the lower right-hand corner where it says done. You have to click done. If you don't, you're going to lose all the changes. Now you're back. Here we are back in the screen. And just to show you um, some of the other things that you have here, let's go here to this visual editor block. And what you see is there's the Windsor logo because that's the only thing that's there. Now, if you want to add anything, we're going to click done on this. Let's go back here to the visual editor and let's zoom just for the moment. Go down here, turning of the month, and we're going to add a second one. Um, an example of fine work. Now, I want to add an image here. How do I do that? I go up here to where it says Add Media. Click on that, and all the images which have been loaded before will be presented to you. But we want to do one that we haven't done. So we click on Upload Files, and then it says Drop Files Anywhere to Upload or Select Files. We'll go to Select Files. And here we are, and we got some wonderful examples. Oh, this is a good one. We'll click on that. We either double click or click and then open. So there we have that. And it's already highlighted. So all we have to do is go over here to the right hand side. And we can add a caption. We can put an alt text, which is what shows up when you're running your mouse over the uh, picture. You can put in a description and you can even put in categories. I'm not going to bother with any of those because we don't need to at the moment, but we can do it. We can put in what type of arrangement we want. I'm going to center this just because it'll look better on the screen. And it's already taken care of all the other details and just leave it as is and say insert into page. And there you have it. So now you have this other pay, other image in there. You have the training of the month. You have an example of other, of other fine work. And if you want to, you can click on an item. You can remove it and then add another one in its place. It's just like you would in Word or any other word processing program. That's how it's done. Remember, in order to save this, you have to go down here to the lower right-hand corner and click on Done. Now, after you've made all your changes, don't leave this page yet because there's one more important thing you have to do. Over here on the right, there's a little blue button with a white lettering saying update. You've got to update in order to save. If you don't, you're going to mess up everything because the page will be saved as a draft page and it will displace the existing page that you have and you'll end up with nothing being seen. Unless people know exactly what um, URL you're trying to get to and most of the time they don't so you can update or and that's always a good thing to do it's always good to update as you're going along so please do that now if you want to see what it looks like you can go up here to preview changes and click on that and a new window will open which will show you what the page looks like and here we see it and there's our turning and everything else is there so that is how you would update or change the home page.